these are the 10 luxury items that I will buy first if I lost my entire collection. Oh no, that will be a complete nightmare. So no con wood. <laughs> Anyhow, friends, this is a tag video that was actually created by Isabel's style. I will be leaving the link to her channel, the link to her video, obviously, on the description box below. Thank you so much to Isabel for creating this tag. She didn't tag me, but I'm just, you know, kind of like tagging along because I thought it was kind of fun. Also, I really love the way that she presented her video. It's basically if you are starting your luxury collection, where do you start? Where do you think it will be the best things or the things that are more um, from the perspective of someone that uses these pieces constantly, where you can perhaps take some advice of where to start, where to put your money in. I don't like to say investments because to me, these items are really not investments except for jewelry, mostly when we're talking about obviously not costume jewelry, not fashion jewelry, but actual high-end jewelry. I'm talking about solid gold, diamonds. Those to me are, you can just consider it in a way a sort of investment, or at least they are pieces that they will not lose their value. And that's exactly where I want to start with jewelry. Now, I'm not going to include certain pieces that to me, they have even more value than the ones that I'm going to be showing today because they're heirloom pieces or pieces that they were actually custom made for me, say like my wedding rings. Also, my mom has sent me to make different items when I was younger. They are all custom made, unique designs that you are not going to be able to um, get them. I know a lot of you have seen me wearing those pieces here on my channel, but I just want to give a little disclaimer right there why I'm not mentioning them because they are things that you will not be able to get them. So let's just start with, like I said, jewelry. I think the first piece that I want to mention is this bracelet. This is by the brand Bulgari and it is solid gold, 18 karat. Mine, it is in the yellow gold and it has eight diamonds. This piece is gorgeous, stunning, but not only that, it is super comfortable to wear. I feel that I can, it is a little bit more of like um elevated piece. So it is one that I will not feel like wearing it necessarily with jeans, but yes, I can use it say with the slacks. I don't necessarily need to have like a cocktail attire or be, you know, dress up to wear it. And for the amount of time that I have had, this bracelet, I have to tell you that the quality is amazing. I don't see scratches. It must be the design, the way that it is made, that each of the pieces is kind of like interlocked. That I mean, like, I'm very careful with all my jewelry, all my pieces. I'm not here to baby anything. I don't baby my bags, I don't baby nothing, but I'm careful. I'm not like just going around with you know being careless about what I have. That's not me, but anyhow, this piece is just fantastic. I don't see a single scratch on this bracelet. It looks stunning. The diamonds shine beautifully. It's super comfortable. And for example, I stack this pearl bracelet alongside with this Bulgari bracelet, and it just looks fantastic. It looks very beautiful, all dainty, just it's super easy to stack with other pieces of jewelry. That's what I'm trying to say. It's really beautiful. Then the second piece that I will add again to my collection, it will be this Chanel Coco Crush ring. Same size, same band. It is the largest band. It's thick, it's stunning, it's all quilted. It does have a few scratches already, but they are minor. They are like not even her line kind of scratches. They are basically kind of like very thin, thin, thin scratches. You can always take it to polish because that's something with Chanel too that they offer. I don't remember if it's five or 10 years. I don't remember, but of service of your jewelry. And this is 18 karat solid gold, which is one of my preferred solid golds. 18 karat, 
is just perhaps the way that I grew up. If you're from Peru, you know that we use a lot of 18 karat gold, while if you're in Italy, they use a lot of 24 karat gold. So it depends, but anyhow, I love this ring. It's super, like it's thick, it's not hollow. I mean, it has a little divot right here, but it's, it, it's heavy. You can feel like it has a lot of weight in it and it's just beautiful, classy. I had the chance to perhaps even get it with the little diamonds, but I wanted something that I could wear it if I want it every day. And this piece right here to me, I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it dress up. I feel that it's one of those perfect jewelry pieces for every day. And if you like a, a smaller band, that Chanel Coco Crush, they come in thinner bands too. So that's not a problem. Talking about Chanel, my third piece will be a pair of earrings. And these are the Camellia earrings. These ones are super dainty, beautiful. They have the Camellia. In the center of the Camellia, you have a diamond and then you have a smaller diamonds across here. It is beautiful. It's a dainty piece. These are like your everyday kind of jewelry pieces that you can use it on and on and on. And I love, again, how dainty they are. They are not too much. They don't scream all over like CC logo. Here I have a Chanel earring. And it's not that I'm against a CC traditional logo of Chanel, but it's just something that to me is just more perhaps discreet, more, mm, I go a little bit more low profile, nothing that is like shouting out of the roofs. Hey, you know, this girl has this and that. That, that is just me. Perhaps this is the most that I have and I will go for. Yeah, I don't think I will just be, I don't know. I don't know, just too loud or too many logos. That's my thing. I don't like things that they just have logos all over the place. But yeah, these are beautiful earrings. And if you're not familiar with the Camellia jewelry from Chanel, they have gorgeous pieces. And there are a few other pieces from this same Camellia collection that I have on my wish list. And you may be wondering, Jacqueline, why you don't talk about your Christian Dior <laughs> uh, earrings that you know, my friends, I have used them countless, countless times here on my channel. But to me, these are fashion jewelry. These are not solid gold. They are not real pearls. Uh, in fact, they, I had been checking Dior's website and they are not there anymore. I don't know if they make them anymore or not. I will be sad if they don't make it anymore. If I find them, even if they are pre-loved from a pre-loved kind of website, I will make sure to link it on the description box below, along with the links for, say, my makeup, etc. But I, I haven't been able to find them. And I think, like I said, with fashion jewelry, I'm a little bit more cautious on those terms because they are not truly investments. They will last you for a long time because they are really good quality. They have really excellent craftsmanship. So yes, I mean, like if you want to go as slow and start on the fashion style, I will highly recommend you earrings from Dior are fantastic. And I will include this other piece on the fourth place along with the Dior earrings. It will be this bracelet by Hermes. This is, again, a fashion piece of jewelry from Hermes, but I have had it for, what, perhaps three years, but I have used it so much in a specific this combination, which they call it marron. It's basically, I mean, even a light to an etube kind of shade from Hermes, but I don't see anywhere. I mean, like, this is really, really good quality, and it's super beautiful. It goes really well with black, when I put something that is white, it goes perfectly well. Pretty much goes with any color that I use. So I really love that versatility of this bracelet. It looks very elegant, but at the same time, it can be worn dressed down or dress up. Absolutely love this piece and this one that I will go run and buy it if money was not an objection. Obviously, all of these pieces that I have is not that I have been able to buy them in the blink of an eye. Everything takes time and everything takes effort. Um, but yeah, it will be one of the pieces that I will go and buy kind of like immediately, like run for it. I mean, 
yeah imagine that we can go shopping and get all of these things at once it will be like incredible right <laughs> okay friends and talking about hermes another piece that i will add to my collection will be a pair of sneakers and in a specific they are by hermes and they are the day sneakers i feel that these have been one of my favorite purchases <laughs> because they are not only comfortable they are beautiful they are again unless you know then you know because it, it's not flashy i mean there's not not even a huge age it says hermes right here but it's in white and i mean you will have to really look <laughs> down to see what type of shoes that person is wearing i mean the only giveaway will be the lock but yeah like i said it's like if you know you know i'm sorry they look dirty at the bottom but there is a little logo that says right here Hermes but yes definitely I will get white sneakers because they are so easy to style you can wear them with slacks you can wear them with jeans you can wear it with shorts you can wear it with a little dress and these type of shoes are great also if you are a tourist and you don't want to be treated as a tourist or be flashy like a tourist you don't want to go I don't know, yoga pants, you know, like Nike pair of shoes. I mean, obviously dependent on which area you are, but you say you're at a city and you want to look presentable yet be comfortable. I mean, a pair of white sneakers, regardless of the brand, they are always a mass and I absolutely love these ones by Hermes. But the most important part, obviously, is that they are comfortable. I didn't really have to break them in because they felt comfortable from the get-go. And then as you go, they just mold to your feet really, really well. Love these sneakers by Hermes, absolutely. Now let's go into bags. And the first bag will be one that it will be perfect, ideal for like every day. If you're a mom, you can work also like if you just had a baby like you can use it as a diaper bag if you um, are a business person and you need to take a bunch of stuff inside or if you go to college and you need to have your laptop your books a bag that to me has been amazing is none other than the Neverfull by Louis Vuitton this bag has been just wonderful so sturdy and yeah, it has held up through absolutely everything. Even the bottom of the bag, it doesn't have a lot of wear. I use it for going into trips. It's not super heavy because this is not leather. This is actually canvas. So it is lightweight, it's thin. So it's not like you're adding extra weight on you. And that's why I was saying like, even if you are, like I said, a mom and you need to have a diaper bag, you can use this as such. But yeah, like, I, this bag has gone through conferences, to trips, you name it. Absolutely everything. I can put everything in and go on and on and on. And this is just perfect. This is sturdy. And one thing though, personally, I like this print, the Damien Rassur print, because it's just, I mean, by now people know when they see you, but it's not super flashy because it doesn't have that LV logo all over the place, like flashing on you. It just barely has a few here and there. And I think that's what I like about it. Now in terms of the bacchetta, and that's the right way to pronounce it, it's an Italian bacchetta, which is an unfinished kind of leather. Also, well, at least my husband, my, the family of my husband, they are all from Italy, born and raised in there. They call bacchetta to like a little whip <laughs> and it will make sense because it is just little twins of leather and honestly i i mean i don't think i have got it out in you know pouring rain but i don't have any like stains or you know bad discoloration nothing of that i mean like it's looking wonderful and one reason why i will get this bag even if it's pre-love is also because it comes with this little pouch and let me tell you this pouch is perhaps if you see me around my town you will see me wearing this pouch everywhere putting it everywhere i go to shopping to target to eat, to grocery, to whatever. This pouch is like, I take it everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It's just the perfect size, so easy. It's holding up so well. I mean, I don't see perhaps just a little bit of dirt that you can wipe on, a little bit of 
wear on the zipper basically, but it opens and closed. I put my cards here, my main necessities, and even my phone can fit in here. It is just perfect. So one of the main things why I like the Neverfull bag is also because of this. This is just a must for me. And even like I will look in the pre-love market just to get one of these because this, this has been amazing. An amazing thing for me because it's easy, it's convenient. Just grab and go and that's it. Now the second bag that I will get, it will be also a casual bag, a bag that I can even dress it up if I want to, that it will make me feel like very cool, not to like, oh, look, it's just, this bag is just puts me in the best mood possible. And it actually has two things that I love. I love the style and I also love the color because you know, my friends, I need white in my life and it's this Chanel 22 bag. This to me is a dream, dream bag. I absolutely love it. Yes, it says Chanel right here, but it's not, I mean, like to me, it's not like super, super flashy. I can even use it this way and nobody will know if I don't want to. I love every single thing about this bag. One thing that I love too is like, ah, <laughs> look at that. It comes also with a pouch. I think there's coins right there. <laughs> Anyhow, it comes with a pouch, it's detachable too, so you can use the pouch, you know, like, just like I do with my other pouch by LV, but it's just perfect. Just all what I need. It's easy, it's a little bit slouchy, it looks fantastic. I love it so much so, and I have used it so much that I wanna get one in kind of like a caramel kind of tone, because I think that will go really good too for fall and winter, because this one I use it mostly during summer because I got it summer of last year, and I just took it out because I'm gonna start using it right now that it's spring. It's time for spring, the rain is kind of like calming down. I love the leather. I haven't found any troubles with the straps making any damage inside the bag on these loops. I know some people, they have, you know, had, had some complications with Chanel's quality and this bag in particular, the way that it's designed. But to me, it's fantastic, it's perfect. The size that I have here is a small, this is the perfect size for me. I'm a small person and although I wear also tote bags. I think this is just the perfect size. It's slouchy, it's beautiful. I feel like this is a dream bag. I, I remember like when I was very, very young looking into magazines, fashion magazines, I love to see these white bags that they were big and slouchy. And I remember when this came out, everybody was calling it the trash bag. And to me, it was like, no, 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 that's not a trash bag. It's it's going to look wonderful. And then with this chain, and now it even comes in a mini. They have lunch with a 23S collection, a mini 22 bag. I'm, I'm certain about it. I'm not sure if I will get one. I have been, you know, contemplating it. They come different styles. There's also a separate strap that is a leather strap, which I think is fabulous too. I think with that, they are trying to avoid a little bit the um, issue that perhaps this bag has of rubbing the metal against the leather back and forth. I mean, it could be a great solution, but it's a smaller, I think crossbody looks great, but that strap itself is very long and I don't think it's adjustable. So that's the thing that is kind of stopping me because I'm short and the bag to me has to be, you know, sit on the right side. So it's something, again, that I'm considering it, but yeah, this is another bag that I will definitely add on my collection. Let's get going with more bags and it's again, another bag by Chanel. And this time it will be a classic flap. And in a specific, I think I will take this color, the beige color. This was my first classic flap and I love it, love it. The color is perfection, it's not too yellow, it's a beautiful beige tone that it leans a little bit more neutral. It just looks amazing with every single outfit that I put on whether it's black, it's white, it's color, it just matches so well. I love the small size. Now, obviously, and most likely, if I will have to repurchase it, I will not repurchase it <laughs> at the price that is right now because it's just like outrageous. But let's face it, that's going to be the price for right now. And I'm pretty sure they will go up in price as years go by so my suggestion if you're looking for a classic flap and you're set with your heart on a classic flap look into the pre-love market because they 
right now it's not that they haven't caught up with the prices yet it's just they are just being smart they want to sell their inventory right now at the price that they have it that's okay if they are not increasing the price but they are just going to move that inventory faster so if you have save your money and it's not a struggle that you're not touching your savings that you're not touching a credit card you know that you're not going in depth for these type of things obviously then i will say you know pre-love market may be the way to go at the moment and obviously choose the whatever color you wish for but to me this shade in particular i feel that it's just perfect because it goes with so many things it's just a very very beautiful neutral color very yeah, lovely and the perfect size for me is a small size it's exactly what I need I do have a medium size which I love too and I feel bad to do not have included on this bag but yeah being realistic I already have my white bag which is my 22 and then this one right here in a beautiful beige clair or just beige because that's how Chanel calls it just beige is they don't have like beige clair or beige score or nothing like that those are things that mm, they just have been added <laughs> so that way you can like differentiate between one thing or the other now i will also do a very casual bag and for that i will go with my chanel 19 bag this is super easy to use it's beautiful it's slouchy it's comfy it has enough room enough space and i have used it plenty of times i love the duo tone i never thought though that i was going to enjoy this duo tonality of metals i thought you know i'm just gonna like the gold i don't know about these pieces right here but i actually like it i like it quite a bit to have these duo tones of metal because it just gives kind of like a more edgy kind of look it also gives that versatility to the bag to just be a little bit more casual when it needs to be and it looks just so pretty and like i said it's just beautiful and i think that caramel shade is also a neutral shade that is super easy to wear with absolutely everything and you may be wondering what about a black bag i like black but i'm not too much of a black bag wearer which is kind of like surprising because i do have some black bags on my wish list but yeah regardless this is a bag that i will add to my collection i love the shape the style i really love that it's lambskin too i have no problems with lambskin again i don't baby nothing none of my bags but um yeah i don't mistreat them either and yeah this bag i have used it plenty plenty of times and it still looks like new no scratches no wear no nothing and the very last piece that i will add to my collection it is my newest pack in my collection which is the sweet camellia or at least that's the way that they are calling it not really by chanel they are not <laughs> calling it sweet camellia they are called in it actually a flat bag that's it and um, yeah this is my latest addition to my collection although i haven't used it that that much i'm in love totally in love because if you have been eyeing a classic flap and you feel that the prices right now they are just untouchable that they are just not you know i'm not getting a classic flap it's just too much not even in the pre-love market this is an excellent excellent price i mean talking about chanel obviously because there are so many leather gray bags out there that they are not from the luxury brands that they are just as good and that they will last you for a long long time there's definitely brands out there that they have amazing craftsmanship but if we're talking about chanel let me tell you these can be comparable to a classic flap it does have even more room than a classic flap because you don't have the double flap that the current classic flaps have which makes it super roomy inside as you can tell you have the zipper not only that you even have your mona lisa pocket on the back which is so much like the classic flap obviously and the chain is beautiful it's also adjustable very alike to the pole crash so you can adjust it make it longer make it shorter so these will work for so many people people that are tall people that are petite like myself and you can use it cross body too and it comes in black it comes in white and it comes in this beautiful gorgeous pink and i 
always I had had a pink bag in my collection. So this is not new for me. And I was missing a, I honestly wanted a Chanel classic flap in a pink shade, an actual kind of like, this is a little bit more, it's not a baby pink. It's more of a little bit of a dusty kind of pink, but in the lighter side. And I wanted it something like this, which is a classic kind of color, a shade that actually I can wear it with different outfits. And I wanted it in a classic flap. When I, when I saw this one, it was kind of like, although it took me long when I was at the boutique trying to decide, okay, which one I'm gonna take. To be honest with you, I did the best decision. I mean, like now thinking about it, it was like Jacqueline, but it was a no brainer because this one, you can use it crossbody. One, two, it is adjustable. Three, it has this, I mean like, look, look at this. It has the same look as a classic flap. Now this one is lambskin. They don't come in caviar leather, but again, I don't mind it. And in fact, this lambskin, it feels more sturdy than the one from my Chanel 19. It's not in a slouchy because also the inside of the bag, it's made out of leather instead of fabric as the Chanel 19. It has a really, really good shape, but Anyhow, look at this. The only thing is the chain. The grommets on the top, I mean, here you have four, here you have just three, but even if you wanna wear it as a shorter bag or as a cocktail bag, I'm pretty sure that, I mean, you can adjust the strap all the way inside and even tie it in and make it even shorter and have a beautiful camellia that is just so iconic and so much Chanel, I think, remember my earrings so I just feel it is a fantastic purchase and thinking about the moment that I was at the boutique checking the collection and that I had that classic flap in this same shade and this one right here and comparing both of them looking at afar now I I will be like it was honestly a no-brainer I mean this was the bag that I have that yeah I, I was right this was the bag that I should have taken from the get-go and I'm so happy I have it and I pay pretty much half the price of what I would have paid if I would have taken the classic flap so anyhow my friends these are the 10 luxury items that I will purchase first if I was to lose my entire collection which again knock on wood <laughs> that that will never happen because it has taken me a lot of work a lot of sweat a lot of like savings and just be like okay whenever I feel a little bit more stable in my economy then I will purchase these items slowly nothing too rush or crazy and yeah okay my friends this makes it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it that you had been fun too as Isabel intended with her tag it was a way for her to be helpful because a lot of people ask her her channel is a lot bigger obviously than mine but they asked her where do I start in my collection which pieces would you suggest if I have just a little bit of money that I wanted to put in one piece what will be that first piece so here I think I touch in different categories so I so by doing this tag and in this way I think we're giving our suggestions where kind of to start if you're looking perhaps for a bag or perhaps for a piece of jewelry or like shoes etc but yes my friends this makes it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it I will be tagging other creators that I hope they can do this tag too and now I would love to hear from you which are those items that you will add first from your collection even if it's not luxury but that you feel like no 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 these I'm gonna add no matter what because they have lasted me for years. They are so good. They have great quality. Let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It would be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're going to love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye! -bye.